Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Star and I'm just a mama that loves makeup. So today I thought we would do my July haul video. Um, the thing about it is, is I just started this channel in the middle of July. So I tried to remember and look back at all of my emails and everything and see exactly what stuff I purchased in July, but there's a lot here and I'm pretty sure I'm missing some stuff. So we're just going to film it all now, and then next month, I'll have everything tracked. So, the first thing that I know that I got in July is the Lethal is Dead, uh, Lethal Cosmetics, and Teresa is Dead palette. Um, guys, I love this palette. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Lots of fun, um, fun colors. I also got the... Hang on. Um, I got all three of them. I'm just going to show you one because it's right here. I got the um, liners that came with it, too. Um, I gotta say, I love Teresa is Dead, but Lethal, their formula is not my favorite indie brand formula. It's not even ranked in my top three. So, um, I have another palette I tried, so I know it's not just this palette. Um, I pre-made one a while ago. Um, and their formula is great. Their mattes are... They're not dry, but they're also not as creamy as I like. And their shimmers are very, um, like, some are very much topper shades. Um, and while that can be nice, it's not, I don't want a bunch of shimmers that are just toppers. Now, some of these, like, um, this one right here, this is not a topper shade. This goes on, you know, very metallic. And I don't know, it's just, it's not, it's not my favorite. It's not terrible. Um, I don't think I will purchase anything else from Lethal um, unless they have something that's like, oh my god, I have to have. Now, I have to say, their liners, um, this is the first time I've tried them uh, from Teresa's Dead's collab. I like them. Um, they're also not my favorite liner formula. I've tried them um, on my waterline. I've tried them to do a wing, and I find that they're very thick. They don't glide very smooth. And then they're not as opaque, which doesn't make sense considering they're thick and hard to put on. And yet when you do get it on, it's not opaque and you have to go back several times. Um, my favorite liner formula still is the melt formula. So, um, just be aware of that. But I got these. I'm not, it's, you know, I don't regret that I purchased these. I love them. My next palettes that I got are, I got the uh, Sydney Grace and the Tim Talia palettes. I got all three of them. I got them all in the light shade. Um, there was one that I wanted in the deep, but I decided not to do that because I knew the deep was selling out and I knew people, and I, I'm light, I can wear the light shade, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, so the first one is Radiant Reflection. Um, and it looks like this. And guys, this one is pretty. Um, this is my, is, is it my least favorite out of them? Yeah, I think this one is the, yeah, my least favorite out of all of them. Um, not necessarily, I mean, the shades and the formula is beautiful on these. Like, especially the metallic shades. They are gorgeous. And the mattes perform wonderfully. There's nothing wrong with these. Um, I just, the color story isn't my favorite out of the other two. Um, but still, I've used this palette a lot. I've posted, um, four or five looks on my Instagram now, and then I did a reel using it too. So, um, my second favorite one is the On the Horizon palette. Um, these are just a little more up my alley, uh, shade-wise. Um, this Lunar illumination shade right here. It is, oh, it is so gorgeous. I love that. Um, the only problem with these I'm finding is that I'm guessing she intended you to have to buy all three because some of the mattes, because these are very shimmer heavy palettes. If you don't own all three of them, you really can't get a complete look with the mattes in like in this one, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to complete a look with the radiant reflection with just these mattes. Um, I can out of the uh, on the horizon. 
But, I mean, there's one, two, three, there's four shimmers, out of, I mean, uh, four mattes out of 12 on this one. And then this one has one, two, three mattes. And really, there's no deeper shade um, that I would use to deepen up my crease with. So, the Quintessence palette is my favorite out of the three. And that's what this looks like. And you have one, two, three, you have four mattes in this one. And you do have... Um, a dark shade here and then one that could be used to darken up stuff right there and this i have to say is my favorite palette um this shade right here milky way is a duochrome i mean it is just so gorgeous it's got like a pink to champagne shift um the greens in here are beautiful this aurora shade right here gorgeous purple it has like a blue i don't know if they're like blue like glitters or if this is meant to be a duochrome i don't know but it looks so gorgeous on the eye so that's the three that i got from uh sydney grace and guys if you want to see looks with um any of these just let me know and i can um I can do some more get ready with me's or i can do some more instagram posts so that's what i got from sydney grace Okay, so up next, I got I got these palettes from Juvia's Place. They're new quads that came out. I also bought, I had their uh, primer, the white shade, and um, I really love it, but it's not an everyday primer for me. So, I went ahead and bought their shade two, which is closer um, to my skin tone. So, but I have that somewhere else. And, I mean, it's a primer. I haven't actually used... Um, either the white one or that one. So I can't really speak to the quality on that. But uh, these I've done um, I, some Instagram reels with. If they're not up, they will be up soon. Um, I know the one on the mint palette is already up. And this one's not my favorite, but this is my second favorite out of uh, all of the ones I'm going to show you. And uh this, the shimmers in this are just so, so gorgeous. This it's like a green mint. It has like a gold shift to it. It is so gorgeous. Um, and I'm not a fan of mint palettes. Um, I'm not a very pastel person. Um, I have the ColourPop Mint to Be palette. Um, it's not my favorite. I just decluttered. Um, I don't know if my eye eyeshadow palette declutter is up yet or not um by the time you see this so I, if it is i'll link it below if not then it's coming um but i did declutter the little elf um mint palettes i just it wasn't my favorite um my favorite favorite out of uh those are the uh rebel it's the army color and it's just the green and you guys know i'm a sucker for greens and um on that instagram reel that if you guys go and look i did a beautiful halo eye um with these and the mattes oh these are so creamy in this now juvia's place usually has drier mattes but the mattes in these are very very creamy and um i just i love this i'm glad i got this now my next favorite um my, so my third favorite this is actually what i have on my eyes today i just uh filmed a reel for this on instagram it's not up yet it'll be up soon but it, uh it's the honey palette um this one's a nice everyday kind of color story um nothing like spectacular i mean we've seen these colors can you even see Ugh, terrible swatch job star um anyway we've seen these uh colors like a thousand times and like i said it's nothing special um the formula's still nice they blend out beautifully um this doesn't go as dark as i want it to i can find i find that i can do a complete look with both of these um this one i can do a complete look with but it doesn't it i would i would have liked that brown just to be just a little more a little deeper but you know it's a quad so it's fine now my least favorite um is the grays now the reason why is is because there's only one matte shade in here there's this one it's too dark as a transition shade um it's a nice not a, not a deep gray but like a middle of the road i would use it for my crease i have to have a black to use this palette i just do this shade to me is kind of it's kind of weird it's not it's not metallic it's like 
I don't know, a satin, but it has sparkles in it. And I tried using it on my inner corner and I don't know. I just, I wasn't obsessed with the look when I used this. But, I mean, then again, I've only used it once. And I've only used all of these from Juvia's Place once. Um, I'll continue to use these some more, but I'm not... Um, I don't regret that I purchased these at all. I mean, I love Juvia's Place formula. I love little quads like this. I think it'll be really good when I just want something quick, fast, and just like out the door. So, that's what I got from Juvia's Place this month. Okay, so now um, what I got from BH Cosmetics. So, I did place an order this month. I think they had like 25% or 30% off or something like that off of palettes. So, I did wind up buying the 2000s Dance Remix. I don't know why I bought this one as opposed to the other ones, except I just think the color story spoke to me more. Um, I have done a look with this on my Instagram too. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, you can go check that out. Um, I really need to play with this more. I've only used it one, two, I think I've used it three times. So I did a pink purple look. I did a uh, very um, smoky eye with some of the cooler tones up here. And then I did a brown look with these neutrals right here. And I love it. Um, creamy formula, like I said, uh, BH, they hit it out of the park. I mean, there's some of the better affordable palettes out there that I mean granted you can't buy them in the drugstore but you can buy them in the drugstore side of Ulta and I really I just there's something about BH lately um we all well I don't know if we all but I used to have one of those huge like 120 color palettes from BH and they weren't you know all that great but in the last couple of years BH has come out and they have killed it so love that palette now I bought two of these I have not used them yet so I can't speak to the quality on these but I am excited to get into them and this is the say it collection um whoa oh my god did you see that it survived therefore that is another reason to like BH cosmetics because when you accidentally drop your crap it's fine um I'm not gonna say this um but that's what that palette is um, and it's the green tone one. I'm really excited to get into this one. Um, I have swatched it and the shades are creamy form, you know, all of that. And I really love the color layout. I like how you have some neutrals and you have some greens. I could see myself, um, wearing this to like work and stuff. So this is perfect. Um, the other one is do not disturb. And this one is more of a fun palette. It's got some, um, purples and blues in it, you know, kind of pastel-y, but it can go really dark. Um, this shade of blue, when I swatched it, looks so interesting. It looks like it has like a purple purple glitters in it or they're not glitters like not like glitter glitter what would you call it purple shimmers I don't know but um and then this one looks like it's gonna be a duochrome on the eye yeah I think it is um so I'm really excited about this one and I can't wait to try it out and if you guys want to see like a video or an Instagram reel or something like that just let me know the last palette I got from BH is the diamond palette now I haven't been, like, buying all of theirs. I know that there's a lot of people on uh, YouTube that are committed to, like, buying that every month and testing it out. That's not me. And, actually, I didn't even buy mine or my husband or, like, my kids burst on. I bought April. Um, I do know somebody that was born in April. It's my mom. Um, but I didn't buy it because it was her burst on. I just bought it because I love the color story in this. So, if you guys know, um, I very rarely wear cool tones. But yet, I love to buy cool tones, especially anything that is silver. So, when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. And, of course, I haven't used it yet. Um, like I said, I very rarely use my cool tone palettes. But, I, I did see a couple videos on this. And, the quality, I'm told, I mean, from what I've watched, is really good. But, guys, I know people don't like glitter in palettes. I know that's, like, the major thing. Everybody's like, no, 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 on um, when they do these reviews. I love glitter in palettes. Okay? Sometimes... I don't want to buy like 20 or 30 individual glitters and then because I'm not going to remember to use them. I'm not going to remember to go over there to my drawer and like pull them out and try to sit down and do a look with it. I'm just not. So I really like that some palettes have pressed glitters in it because when you want to do a look and you want to be kind of fun, like it's there for you, you know, and I don't, I haven't tried BH glitter formula, so I don't know if they're like a great quality or not. So we'll see. 
Um, but anyway, that's all I got from BH. So, okay, so let's go ahead and do ColourPop because I kind of got a lot. So, I bought two collections from them this month. I bought the Lush Life collection. Um, I bought the palette, the lip glosses, and the cheek dews. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the palette looks like, first of all, and it looks like this. Now, guys... ColourPop's not my favorite. Um, I have... They're one of lip gloss. Um, I have tons of palettes from them. Because they're so affordable. And their packaging is so cute. And all of that. And their shimmers are nice. They're not like my favorite shimmers. And their mattes are good. They're a little more on the dry side for me. But it's like, whatever. They're affordable. Their packaging is cute. Um, so, they're not my favorite. Now... I know this has been getting, like, amazing, amazing reviews on YouTube. Um, everybody's saying ColourPop's back. The color story is so, you know, perfect. There's colorfuls. There's neutrals. I agree with that. The color and the neutrals together. And ColourPop hasn't done a palette like this in a while. It's still not my favorite formula. Um, I still don't think they hit it out of the park as far as the formula goes. I did a look. I did not post it because I really didn't like how it turned out. Um, with the greens and the blues. And the neutrals, they work out fine. I mean, it's a neutral, whatever. The green and the blues, they applied patchy on me. And so, I wiped it off. Uh, the next day, I went and I used a different primer. You know, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, same look, still patchy um, in the greens and the blues. So, I don't know. You can say it's me. I'm definitely not a makeup artist. Um, I don't claim to be. I don't usually have problems with green and blues. I tend to think I do an okay job, but who knows? So, I mean, maybe you have this and you think it's like the best thing ever and there's something that I'm doing that's wrong and, you know, that's fine. Makeup's just meant to be for fun, like I always say, and all of that, but this isn't my favorite as far as formula goes, but, I mean, I love the packaging. I'm a sucker for the packaging. Um, so, I have all the lip glosses. I dropped the other one. Um, so, I have Orchid, Peace Lily, and I don't know what the other one is because it's on the ground. I'm, I'm not even going to bother. Um, the, the Lux lip glosses, they're like, they're fine, whatever. I'm not a like, crazy gloss person. Like, I can, I can do a whole makeup look and not have to apply a gloss. I'm fine. I mean, I'm more of a matte lip person anyway, so, but I mean, I like having glosses. These are not shades. Well, this one, I mean, I definitely have something in my collection that looks like this, but, um, I don't have a lot of oranges like this, so I'm glad to have them in my collection, and I mean, they're nice or whatever, and then the last is the Cheek Dews, so I, I do want to talk about, uh, the Cheek Dews for a second, because I bought two or three when they first came out. I did not like them at all, um, and if you'd seen my blush declutter, and that one I know is already up on YouTube, you would know that I got rid of a couple of these, because I just... I couldn't work with them. But these, in this collection, I don't know if they, like, changed their formula or if it's just because the colors are so loud. The other ones just completely sheared away. Excuse me. Oh, just ate Chick-fil-A. Um, <laughs> I might have to edit that out. <laughs> what was I saying? <clears throat> they completely sheared out on your cheeks. Now, I know that everybody's saying, well, you know, stuff like this, they're supposed to be sheared. Yes. I agree. And I also know how to blend out blush. And when I say it blended away to nothing, I mean, I literally just had to dab my beauty blender and it was gone. Um, so, like I said, I don't know if it's the colors I picked in that round or if they just made these better this time around. Um, but I definitely like these a lot more. So, I would suggest some from this Lush Life. But out of the ones that I had from like the original, you know, where they originally did them, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest those. Um, so, I bought the Powder Puff um, palette. I bought both the blushes. I only have one sitting here. And then I bought uh, the color pencils. I bought all three of them. So, I don't have them all sitting here. I don't know when I came to sit down and film what I was doing. But, anyway, I haven't used this collection. So, I can't really give y'all any, like, thoughts on them anyway. Um, it's really pretty. I was gonna, I was, like, gonna do an Instagram, but you guys know, ColourPop comes out with so much stuff that by the time, like, it got to me, ColourPop had already released, like, two other things. So, it was like, what's the point? So, this one is the, um, 
the like peachy color and then the pinky color is somewhere and the only crayon that I managed to grab is this Mojo Jojo one which guys let me tell you I was a little older when Powerpuff Girls came out so I can't say like I watched it a lot um but I did see episodes and I love Mojo Jojo and I love the way he says his name too so but I'm excited I mean I'm gonna use this on my own time anyway obviously because I bought it um but we'll see. I mean, I thought it was cute. I didn't get the hair accessories or like the bath stuff or any of that because that's just not, I, I didn't feel the need to. Um, but, oh, I'm all over the place. I am a hot mess. <laughs> I did buy, I didn't buy the whole, uh, what collection was this? The Cabana Club collection. I, I didn't feel like the palette was worth it. I heard, I think it was like makeup just for fun or something. Talk about that. All the shades in that palette were already pre-existing shades from other palettes or maybe singles or something. So, I really just wanted the liners. Um, it's Crystal Crush at Sunset. And then I got the blush uh, sticks because I love their blush sticks. Now, I totally recommend these over the, um, the cheek drop ones or whatever. Um, but this is... Rum Runner and Shell Out. And I don't know. There might have been three. Like I said, guys, I tried to grab everything. And I'm trying to film while my kids are actually being good. So, if I don't have everything, we're just going to call this July. And then, when August comes, I will, like, we'll start over. Um, So, I did also purchase. And this just came. So, technically, it came, you know, yesterday which was august 1st but i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in my july haul and then we're just gonna start fresh and i'm just gonna keep everything in a tote like i said so i got this now these i didn't get um in this box but i got the elf putty blush i got tan lines um i also got the other shade i think it was honey drip and it didn't come in my ulta order so like it, it was missing so i had to call them they shipped it out it came and it's still sitting upstairs i haven't even brought it downstairs yet but for this one, for my skin tone, this does absolutely nothing. Tan lines does not show up at all. I don't know if it's because I'm a little darker right now. I don't, maybe it'll work better in the winter. But to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this formula at the moment either. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. My kids came downstairs hollering at me. Uh, not actually hollering, but anyway. So I bought the other one, but I don't know. I don't like this formula. It's very, it's like oily. Um, and when I mean oily, I mean it like looks oily when you put it on your skin. And to me, it's not, it doesn't blend out. Like I said, I need to try the other color. Maybe that one will be more of a hit for me. But it is what it is for that. This I absolutely love. Um, this came in an order with the Elf things, and then I had to get uh, another cleanser. So, and I haven't used it yet. It's the CeraVe cleanser, or whatever. I mean, we're not here to talk about that. But this, I love. So, I haven't tried the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, but I would imagine that this would be comparable to that because it is so tacky. And um, I love the way this helps makeup go on. So, when I put my beauty blender on with my fan, it like sticks and it just, it goes in and it doesn't leave streaks and it just, it blends into my face flawlessly. Um, I tried this with my, um, what was the foundation I just used up? I think it was a Maybelline foundation. It was, it was like, whatever. Okay. I mean, you would have seen it in, I think like another video, but right now I'm using it with the Stila Hide and Cheek foundation. Um, which I'm trying to pan. I'm sitting here looking at it. Um, and, and it works beautifully. I've also tried this with the uh, Fenty Pro Matte Filter one. Blends beautifully. I tried this with the uh, ColourPop Stick um, Foundation. And I'm not a huge fan of stick foundations. I'm not really a huge fan of that one anyway. Because it doesn't give you a, a, a great longevity when you wear it I, I get like maybe four or five hours off of that but with this I can at least go like what I would consider a full work day so like eight hours so I'm really in love with that I'm definitely going to repurchase that when that's gone so what I got that just came like I said I bought all of these um I just filmed a real a real swatching them um these are all from essence so this is the essence taupe it up um, I saw Heather Austin get the coral one and it was like $2.99 and 
And so I went on Ulta and I was like, okay, well, you know, that'll be cool. I, I, I'll grab it. You know, it, I could chunk it in my purse, you know, use it when I'm out and about or whatever. And then I saw that they had all of them. And I was like, oh my God, wouldn't it be so cute to like show everybody like some drugstore palettes and see if these are actually worth it? Because for $3, $3, I mean, you can't, you can't beat $3 for an eyeshadow. So I have to say, I swatched all of these. Um, I haven't worn any of them on my eye yet because they just came yesterday. But um, these look pigmented. And, you know, the mattes look and feel very creamy. And I think they're going to look really nice on the eye. Um, just from what I can tell. So, this is the Taupe It Up palette. And then I have the Coral Me Maybe. The names are so cute. And I've never tried Essence Formula. Um, so, I'm excited to see. Like, I don't know. I've heard lots of things about Essence. A lot of hits and misses. So, maybe this will be a good one. And they're so tiny. Like, this is what it looks like compared to my hand. So, it'd be perfect to like travel with. This is the, I like to mauve it, mauve it. The names are just adorable. They are kind of hard to open, especially this small. Oh, I just messed up my nail. Anyway, that's what that one looks like. Not that my nails looked all that great to start out with. So, um, I'm excited about that one. Uh, this, this one is called bronzed this way. And I think that's going to be really, really pretty. Um, especially for me to wear to work. So, I got the Dancing Green, and that looks nice, and that uh, Deep Green swatched really, really well. So, I'm excited to try this one. And then, the last one I got is Ice Ice Baby. Vanilla Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Can you tell when I was born? Um, and th this Dark Blue swatched really good, too, so I'm really excited to try these. Um, so that's what I got from Essence. Now, when I placed this order, it was like a, um, oh wait, I got this. Is that from Essence too? Yeah, this is the Glowing Gold's Baked Luminous Bronzer. I got it in the shade Live Life Golden. And looking at this, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna like this. I don't. It looks very orange. Um, maybe when I'm not as tan. It's definitely luminous. Um, this reminds me of Max Gimme Sun, just looking at it and swatching it, um, which I do like Max Gimme Sun, but that's only if I'm wearing just like foundation, bronzer, powder, you know, like nothing, just out the door with, you know, like five products. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I think that was like four or five dollars anyway. I mean, Essence is extremely inexpensive. So I bought this. Uh, they were having a sale. They were having a sale on this palette. Y'all don't. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, okay? I can hear you judging. You just, you just got rid of your a bunch of eyeshadows, and now you just... Uh, look, well, I don't even know if you've seen the eyeshadow palette declutter, but I can imagine that y'all are judging me. But this was on sale for $15. I know, I said I wasn't going to buy more, but when it's $15, and the color story was really pretty, like, I would wear these colors. Am I in frame? Like, I can't see it because it's bigger than my head. Um... Like, I would wear the greens. I definitely would wear these pinks down here and, like, these oranges. And, like, it looks really pretty. And, honestly, like, to me, this kind of screams late summer, early fall. Like, I could wear this as a transitional palette from summer to fall. And it's got a lot of nice neutrals that I could see me wearing for work. And let's just, let's swatch a couple. Guys, my hands are, like, really dirty from all the swatching I've been doing. The mattes feel they don't feel dry they're not as creamy as some other palettes are they're not even as creamy as the essence and the shimmers yeah the shimmers feel a little dry but they're swatching okay although swatches don't mean a hill of beans i know that you guys know that we all know that swatching doesn't show how they perform on the eye but the whole reason that I made that order and I bought all those extra eyeshadow palettes that I did not need, guys, look at my hand. It's like, ugh, um, is that it was what, like National Lipstick Day or something? And they had um, these Morphe liquid lips on sale. And the only, the only one I actually wanted that's been in my like wish list forever is this Hot Shot color. 
Um, Jacqueline Hill talked about this like years ago, but I'm a huge fan of red, especially like orangey red. And I've wanted this for a while. I have I have one Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin, I think is what it is. Um, and it's nice. It's very, very nude. So I don't wear it very often unless I need to lighten up a shade. The formula is okay. I would compare it to like any drying matte liquid lipstick like um, uh, Anastasia or anything like that. So, I mean, they're not. But like I said, I love matte liquid lipstick. So, um, this is the shade Hot Shot. But, you know, that was the only one I bought it. Bought, I bought and I wanted to get free shipping. Duh. So, I got those palettes. And then I also got the shade Peanut and Nibble. And I don't know why I picked this one. Um, it definitely looks like a me color. It looks like a terracotta warm brown color that's what that one looks like right there um definitely something i wear a lot of and this shade nibble which if the packaging on the outside looks like anything i don't know why i bought this it's definitely not a color i wear yep that is a very very deep reddish like brown color i hardly ever wear those colors so not quite sure what i was thinking when i bought it but then again, I have a lot of lipsticks that are the same color, so it might be a good thing that I bought a shade I don't usually wear. All right, so the last thing that I got that I know that I bought in July, the other ones, like I said, I'm not sure when I bought them, um, are the, hang on, let me open this up. I got these two palettes from Alter Ego. I got the uh, Luster Charm. And the Shadow Kiss. So, the Shadow Kiss. And I've done... I did an Instagram reel with this one. Um, this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Glam. Now, I don't own the Natasha Denona Glam. I can't... I can't see me paying $65 for a bunch of cool tone shades when we've already talked about how I barely wear cool tone shades. And I have a lot of cool tone palettes because... I see them, I like them, and I never wear them. Um, anyway, the only, like, really cool-toned palette I think I wear is Sultry. And I just got Mary Jane, uh, the Melt palette, not that long ago. So, anyway, so I bought this one because um, the only Natasha Denona palettes I own are the Zendo and the Love. And then I have a whole bunch of her minis and, like, her five-pan palettes. But I don't have any of her, like midi uh, what they call them yeah midi size not mini but the midi size and i don't have any of her bigger ones at all but i do own all of these alter ego palettes that um they came out with so like the canyon um the oh where'd i put them like the artemis anyway all the dupes and i like alter ego's formula i'm pretty sure that alter ego used to be bad habit which whatever i mean i'm not 100 percent positive i can't say that with certainty but I think it is. Um, so, this is uh, the Lester Charm palette. And I think this is supposed to be a Divine Rose, like, one palette dupe. I don't have the Divine Rose one. The only Pat McGrath palettes I have are, I have two six pans. And then I have a, uh, the Divine Rose two. And if you see me looking up, it's because I'm looking at the shadows. Um, but anyway, these are nice. I mean, they're very affordable. They're good for the price. If you want... The color story that you get, but you don't want to pay the price of, like, Pat McGrath and stuff. Like, I don't think you're going to tell a difference on the eye. The only thing I can say about Alter Ego's formula is when they try to dupe Natasha Denona's uh, cream to powder formula, it doesn't work. Um, like, at all. I find that they are very, like, not pigmented, and it's very hard to blend out on the eye. So, I wish that Alter Ego would kind of just stick with just regular shadow formulas. They don't have to dupe the formulation of Natasha Denona for people to buy it. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to hit free shipping, so I got the Alter Ego Euphoria Liquid Lipstick, and this is like a, like a rosy, a rosy brown, maybe? Maybe a mauve. I don't I don't know. I'm bad at describing. Like, to me, I call that a rosy brown. But some people, I'm sure, would say that's like a mauve or a dusty rose or whatever. Um, so, I think that that is all that I know I bought in July. So, from now on, we'll just 
start the clock again and I'll come back at the end of August and show you what I got in my August haul. So guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you just like the video, give it a thumbs down. And remember, makeup is just for fun. It's not supposed to be judgmental. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.